yesterday I wanted to film what I eat in the day I recorded breakfast and lunch but I was out at my nanny's house so late and then when we got back Jenny insisted on taking a bath and then we made chicken nuggets that she did not eat so I ended up eating all the chicken nuggets um chicken nuggets and like mandarins my hair is a mess because I always like slick it back and then I just play in it so now it's disgusting we got up a little before 7 705 it's now 7:40, <laughs> and I was like, I want to do like a realistic day in my life. I want to film and do all this stuff, but I have my sister here, which is fine. It's just she requested pancakes, so I have three. I don't like syrup, so I don't talk about them. Um, she has some blue agave because I don't obviously I don't buy syrup, so she might not like those. Blueberries, strawberries, orange juice. She also has orange juice in her cup. I got her a little. Um, what do you call it insulated cup to stay at my house from Target and I also bought her some to stay at home with mommy and daddy right 
You have a Barbie cup. You have so many of these at home. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wanna drink a little bit? No, he's drinking. That dog came with this. I mean, I don't know why they did this. This is just such a. So she doesn't like that one. We bought the juice and milk separately at Target. It was like five, six dollars for the the set. And a little pram. A little bit. And I'm chowing away back here. If you hear me. I got up really early this morning for an off day. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. because I had my little baby sister here and she woke up and wanted breakfast so I made her pancakes. I had a little bit of pancakes um, and then that was it. Cut up some fruit for her, watched a little bit of My Little Pony, played in some water, fixed her hair, and just kind of interacted with her until my mom picked her up around 8 o'clock. I immediately got in the bathtub, relaxed for about an hour watching some Asia and then yeah i got out i just put on some comfy clothes this is my let them eat cake shirt that i've designed you know it just says tassie babe on the bag this is super old i definitely want to bring back some merch so if you want me to do that again let me know like what designs and stuff you want to see today i decided to make my smoothie a little thicker as you guys saw because when i make it super like creamy and liquidy not liquidy like watered down but just smoother to drink i find myself like taking it to the head like it's nothing so when i make it thicker i can actually enjoy and like drink it slowly which is again what i need to be doing but sometimes i'm always just such in a rush i like over water it and it's like this liquidy it's like a juice it is cold in here i actually just turned on my heat because my little sister was here normally i just sleep under like two blankets and i keep the heat off because it's been like 70 degrees and it goes to 50 degrees 60 degrees it was just so warm that i was like i don't need to turn my heating system on but before i get set up on the couch i actually need to go through my dance bag to see if i have everything because i have ballet tomorrow right after work i normally work nine to six but my class tomorrow starts at six which means i need to leave my job a little early so like 5 30. so i just want to make sure i have everything in my bag and if you guys want to see a get ready with me for ballet class let me know someone did request that honestly this school that i'm going to with this specific class is every Wednesday at 6 and then Friday at 5 which is kind of actually interfering with my regular work schedule because like listen I work 9 to 6 Wednesday through Friday consistently and if the class starts at 6 that means I need to leave my you know other job Wednesdays by like 5 30 to get there and you know I like get set up or changed or anything and I'm not looking forward to that tomorrow. I don't like rushing around. I don't like feeling like on crunch time. Same thing with Fridays. The class starts at um, 5. So I would have to leave work at like 4.30 when I normally get off at like 6. So I got to like figure out this new schedule of mine. It's kind of annoying because I have to like talk to my bosses. This is something that I just decided to do on a whim. Like I didn't talk about this or plan for this two weeks in advance to like let them know my schedule would be changing. So that's where we stand with it <laughs> but yeah last time to class i wore black because i only had a black like tights a leotard and a blue skirt but now i have a little dance drawer piling up I, oh, 
it's always noise noise bothers me so bad in the background but anyway because my shoes needed to stretch i put the point shoes in there and i totally forgot about it totally forgot so maybe they'll be they look wider oh my goodness maybe they'll be a little wider i'm gonna try them on i don't know like they are my regular size but i didn't read the reviews all the way before but yeah they fit pretty good so i guess that worked i'm waiting for my local dance shop to get more like stuff in stock as far as like shoes and things go so i just wanted to stretch these a little bit more yeah, i'm gonna take these to class i might just keep them in this little bag just in case something gets wet i don't know i need to pack my water bottle in there too so i don't forget it i think i'm gonna wear pink tomorrow i don't know this is so hard i don't even have that big of a collection but like i don't want to go back i mean it's been a week since my last class the last time I, well almost i went last friday so i have this class at this specific school tomorrow which is wednesday and this friday and then i have a class saturday morning at another school i'm gonna be busy this week so i kind of just don't want to wear like the same leotard there again i don't know i always look at all these cute pictures on pinterest of the different like outfits like ballet core i don't even know what to wear to class i know it's gonna be cold so whatever I do, I need to bring like sweatpants to put over and I can just like take them off and I'm already dressed. Based off last class, it got so warm in there. Like we were hot and I only had on this really thin little um, sweater. So if I had this on, I was like burning up. I don't want to bring anything super crazy. I want to be able to like take it off. Um, we do a lot of stretching and stuff and we're always like on the floor. I don't know. I don't have a black skirt or else I would have like did a pink leotard with the black skirt to kind of break up all the pink. And I'm going to be the only one in pink. I mean, do I care? No. Because I love the whole aesthetic of like feeling like a ballerina. But like last time everybody was in like black and like sports bras and regular clothes. One girl had like a brown like skin flesh color leotard like that hung off her shoulders which was super cute with like a black bra. And then like the warm-up pants with trash bag pants i think they call them she had that on what do i wear i like the skirt but i kind of want to do shorts okay i'm gonna figure it out and then whenever i figure out my outfit i'll pack it into the bag because i want to just take it straight to work with me okay so i can either do not these shoes though these are just like some blue sherpa slippers but i can either do like this tomorrow Again, it gets really hot, so if I want to stay warm outside, I can do this. This would be like really warm and cute. So maybe I can just wear this. Is this too much pink? I mean, who am I kidding? You can never have too much pink, but like, come on. I don't know what to wear. And that way, like if I need to, I can just wear it behind my head like this to keep my arms covered. I think I'm gonna go with this. Or I can also bring these so when I leave from work, I can just like literally put these on like this. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna wear this. Like when I leave from work, that way I'm like still dressed, but as soon as I get to class, because last time. I was a little late and that was not embarrassing but i was like two three minutes late i still had to get checked in and then another girl also came in late with me why is it doing this wear my ugg boots with it so i do have newer socks to wear these are so cute i love these i also got the case based off i don't think i showed you guys these but i ended up getting these too and that way i can like just have something extra because these do have like an opening and I can just put these over like so and then I'll show you really quick socks over and then I have my Ugg boots to wear because the last time I went it was raining I think so I wore rain boots but this is way more comfy for dance class I definitely think I'm wearing this how you be spending your time? You'll be so where my mind. Can't even get yourself done. You know you're so sorry. Maybe you should shut up. Ooh. I know you guys are gonna get tired.
tired of me talking about ballet. I promise every video is not going to be about ballet, but because this is new, this is something like a part of my life now. Obviously, I'm excited to share. Anyways, I did put up a poll yesterday and wanted to answer a few questions and then I'm going to just finish my smoothie, finish watching a vlog, kind of relax, maybe edit for you guys to get this up. This is just a realistic day of my life, literally. Like, I'm doing nothing else today. <laughs> it's not even funny. Again, if you want to see a get rid with me for a dance class, let me know. Because, again, this Saturday I have a class at 11, so obviously I'll be up in the morning to get ready. And then it's a whole different school, so I don't know what to expect. I'm definitely wearing black, because if I'm the only person wearing pink in that class, like, I'm not, I don't care what people think and say... Pink makes me feel good. Like, I love pastels, which is why I kind of want to, like, up my my dance drawer and like get so many different accessories i love that kind of stuff i love ballet core i love feeling like super dainty and pretty and that is all that should matter is if it's making me happy because i've been to the school where i'm going wednesdays and fridays i feel like after that one class i'm already comfortable like i've seen the girls there they're really nice i can wear whatever i want but this is a new school this weekend i don't know what to expect so i'm just gonna wear black <laughs> probably the same outfit that i wore the first time there um, but yeah, let me go ahead and answer some questions really quick and then again, I'm just gonna edit for you guys Put up a poll yesterday and everybody will watch my story There'll be like a couple of you guys watching my story, but like one or two of you answering questions I'm gonna start doing giveaways secret giveaways and you won't even know unless you do You know what I'm talking about like so if I say send in questions and only one or two people send in questions Then those one or two people are gonna get a prize and I'm gonna DM them privately and you'll never know because they are my OGs. They are the ones that are down for me. Her username is Mistress MUA. I'll put them right here. Um, go follow her. She's cute. Go follow her because she's sweet for sending in these questions. Um, the first one was, would you ever release your own music? You have such a beautiful voice. Yes. Thank you. But yes, I, I do want to. I'm just not like into the studio as much as I used to be. Like my uncle is a producer. That's what he does for a living. Like I have so many connections. I just don't use them. But I think I'm gonna slowly start off with doing like the TikTok thing with covers and then also back on YouTube. So really, 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 really soon. It's just always so noisy or something around here. So I don't sing. I do have a microphone, but I need to get a condenser to go on my laptop and be able to like record and stuff soon. Like maybe within the next year or something, I definitely wanna like branch out and put out music because I love singing. The second question that she sent um, is, will you ever be able to show some of what you do in ballet class? I'm gonna try to vlog tomorrow when I go. Um, I don't know, like that's why I wanna get there a little early so you can at least like see like where I'm gonna be and what we're doing. But I don't really think I can vlog. Maybe I'll ask the teacher like, hey, like if, is it okay to like record one day and the, like put my phone in the corner <laughs> and then like I'll just tell her I wanna like practice at home too which is true i really wish i could have recorded the first time and like rewatched the video and practice what she was saying but like i don't know and i don't want to make any other other girls feel uncomfortable i can see if it was like two or three of us in that class it's maybe like 10 11 12 including me so i don't want to make anyone uncomfortable but i, I do want to eventually vlog and share but that was my first time so i'm trying to like get into the groove and you know like I would love to but I don't want to make anybody else feel super awkward and like in my videos and so I'm gonna try to get there a little early tomorrow to like just so you guys can see like inside of the class or something I'm really gonna try but when we go in I don't have my excuse me I don't bring my phone in there with me I don't bring my bag in there we leave it outside the classroom the only thing I bring with me is my water bottle and like I set that on the side so we can like drink water in between the pauses of the different exercises but I don't really bring my phone in there so i have to see and the last question that she sent in is what are some pros and cons to living alone that you've experienced one of my pros is not having like a bunch of kids and noise and stuff on top of me everybody else in this building is pretty much older like i'm talking like probably 50s and up so it's not that much noise but like my neighbor down the hall but like upstairs i don't really hear anything i hate that like it doesn't have an in-unit washer and dryer so i have to take everything to the laundromat which is that's a con it's really annoying i have so many clothes so that's just annoying in itself i wish i had like a laundry service it doesn't even have to be in my apartment but i wish we had something like in our building that i could just like 
use and like wash clothes all day because i would do that and come sit right in my apartment until it's done another con is just like not being able to paint which is like so stupid it just depends on your landlord honestly and what they prefer i guess they just don't want to have to deal with painting it back when like i move out which is totally understandable but it just kind of limits everything we really can't have pets in here i know this isn't the only apartment complex that's like like that but like we can have pets but only if you get a written note and that's just a lot it's just it'd be team too much um another con is i'm from philly so i live in the, like dead smack like center of everything i'm in the city literally so it's always so much noise buses trucks construction every single day and it's been like that anywhere i lived in philly so it doesn't matter like if, what area i'm in now it's just it's always been super noisy and busy so when i try to film it's always something very much something getting on my nerve um and that's pretty much it no parking also in the city like there's if it is parking it's like two hours so you have to like keep moving your car and they build all these buildings and stuff here and like nowhere for people to park and then when you do find a parking lot it's full or it's super expensive and just like not worth it so that's why i don't have a car i do drive in case you guys are wondering i have a license i just don't have a car honestly there's so many pros too i have my own space i don't have to answer to anybody i have to really share my space um coming home after a long day of work like with working with kids and stuff i don't have to go back to like living with my mom and having all the kids like like sometimes i would come straight home from work and go to sleep but i couldn't do that with siblings in the house running around upstairs like i was in the basement so i heard everything someone's singing in the shower i can hear it so that kind of got annoying so it's really nice to like take my own shower take my own bath and not have to wait on anybody like i could just do that all day if i want to i can now just sit here without anybody telling me to get up so that is some of the pros being able to control what's in my fridge and like in my kitchen i dab into like vegetarianism and veganism and all that stuff since seventh grade so it's nice to be able to like have full control over my house and what's in my fridge instead of like sharing it with people in the family house and like they're eating my food and like i can't eat theirs but they can eat mine that was annoying that really got on my nerve um and just having your own space to come back to it's really nothing like it once you move out you won't want to go back that's just some of my pros and cons. I can't really think of anything else at the moment. Oh, you can have your own company. Like when I was in a relationship, my boyfriend would just come here and we would still hang out for a couple hours. We still go outside. I would visit his family house or whatever. But it's nice to have our own space and not be monitored all the time. I know when I was living at home, my mom really didn't let us have company, whether it was girls or guys. We never really had anyone stay over which is okay that's fine plus we didn't have like a guest room space anyway so they would be like sleeping with us or like on a sleeping bag or whatever or like a blow up mattress i mean um but like having my own space like again i was able to like bring my boyfriend over not that we need to do anything crazy but like he, we would be able to watch a movie without having like 10 eyes watch us or we could take a nap and like no one's gonna bother us to get off the couch because kids are running around you know so it's nice to have your own space for your own personal reasons um, for me, it's just the clarity, peace of mind, coming home after a long day and minding my business, okay? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just end this vlog. I'm going to end this vlog here because, like, stuff like that annoys me. Honestly, I get so annoyed, so discouraged so easily when there's, like, noise in the background. And I just don't want you guys to feel, like, bored or anything. I don't know. Like, I always get in my own head about, like, you know, beating myself up about not being perfect. And not having the best upload for you guys but some days are really just slow and they are really just like this I, sometimes i most of the time if i'm not working like or going out i'm sitting in the house just relaxing and i had to learn that that is okay that is okay to just exist you know i'm not being lazy i did take a bath i did clean up i keep my house pretty clean i'm always wiping something down i made a smoothie i have my sister over i got up and made breakfast like i still was active today but it's my off day so i should be entitled to rest and deserve my off day without feeling so pressured by like you know I, I just pressure myself about other people that are watching me pressuring me to be perfect and wanting every vlog to be super eventful i know there are a handful of you guys who love my realistic vlogs but sometimes i really beat myself up about like you know making it fun to watch going out shopping trust me i love shopping just as much as the next girly girl or the next person but i don't always want to shop just to spend money just to show a haul when i really don't care about that stuff i am so content with what i have it's not even funny i buy a little stuff here and there but it's not you know like grand i don't spend a ton of money on designer i don't even buy love shack fancy anymore 
because that was a thing I was splurging on that and I I was entitled to but I just don't find joy in that like I find myself feeling a void or like anxiety or whatever I will feel that with shopping um and then I get home and I'm like I don't care about any of this stuff because it's materialistic it can be replaceable so I learned to not shop so much and just enjoy what I have and be content with like I have a couch that's fine I don't have to have a bunch of stuff hanging on my walls I'm super content with my house how it is right now but I do want to better it and do more like for the holiday season and stuff I'm going on a tangent but hopefully you guys can just um pick up what I'm putting down and if you want to see something specific let it grow no I'm gonna end the vlog here again because it's a slow day and I don't really have anything else to show you guys but I wanted to post a vlog anyway love you guys so much and I will see you in my next sassy vlog bye